What's up guys, Devil Doll Gamer here, and today I'm showing off the first public demo of a new game called Road to Vostok. Now this game is best kind of described as a stalker-ish, Tarkov-like game. It's a single-player, hardcore survival looter shooter. Um, think of it as stalker without the anomalies is kind of what they're going for. But what makes this game kind of cool and really special after like seeing all this is that it's only made by one guy. One guy has been making this entire game, and this is the first public demo we've gotten of it, and so far, I'm extremely impressed. I know a lot of you guys know me pretty well on the type of content I get into, but Stalker is like god-tier level game for me. It's, it's the one game I judge all survival games on, most shooters on, and things like that, and it's what got me really excited about Tarkov, because Tarkov was described as a Stalker-ish PvP game. Um, you know, where we go from there, who knows. But that's what got me you know, like really excited about Tarkov. And it's what's getting me really excited about Road to Vostok. It has the stalker feel to it. The, the environment, the weapons, the AI, it, the, loo the looting. It feels like stalker. Even, you know, all the vitals that you have and all the things you need to take care of. It just feels like stalker. And I absolutely fucking love it. Now, the cool thing about the development of this game is... Not only is it one developer, but everything he develops for this game is available for anyone to use for free. He's basically making all the assets he makes for this game available for anyone to use for any project or anything. Just shows how much he loves being a developer and just how much love he's putting into Road to Vostok. Now, this demo is pretty short. You only get one area to explore, shooting range, a um, few signs that show off the... Uh, roadmap, which is also all over the place too. You know, we're going to get another public demo, then some early access, and then final release. It's still a ways off. I don't think we're really going to see a early access or a release till 2023, probably, maybe, possibly 2024. Um, not doubting his skills as a developer. I'm just saying that the game is, you know, game development is hard, and it's even harder for one man. Um, so it's one of these games that I'm excited for, but I will be patient for because I know how game development is. And if AAA studios can get bogged down with a thousand plus people working on it, I can only how, imagine how many stressful nights this man is, is having making this game. Now, it has all the elements in here. You go, you have inside, you have loot on the ground, there's AI. Weapons are customizable by their own interface, kind of like Tarkov. You bring up the interface, and you can kind of change out the ammo type, scopes, pressers, all kinds of things like that. There's a lot of really good bass in here that makes this game really special. The movement sounds good. The um, walking sounds, you can hear the AI walk. The AI does need a little more work, uh, but they're just placeholders right now, so I'm really not judging it. Like, this demo is so small, and that I'm... Just not judging it that much and it's available for free for everyone to try But I'm not saying you're gonna spend two hours in the demo You might spend 10 20 minutes in it kind of walk around see the environment Play around a little bit and go from there now. There are a few things missing like there's no weapon animations for the reloads Whatever we'll let that pass the weapon sounds could use some work the recoil on the gun movement though is actually fine I, I don't have a problem with it whatsoever, but the environment is just absolutely beautiful that's what gives it the stalker vibe for me. That's what makes it look like stalker, man. Like, the grass looks amazing. Like, if we had Tarkov vegetation like this, Lord have mercy, Tarkov would be doing amazing and would look absolutely gorgeous. But the environment in this is just fucking beautiful, man. Um, there are placeholder items that you can loot to kind of see how it goes. They're sitting around on the ground. They're inside containers and things like that. Um... But most of this is just kind of go around and show you what it's going to look like. The movement feels pretty good. The sound, the nighttime. Um, you can switch the weather in the demo. Everything just, you know, with the weather looks so feel. And it's just amazing. And I love every second of it. But, you know, I think this game has an extremely bright future. And now this game is actually made on Unity. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, devil, you shit on Unity a lot. And I do when it comes to game like Escape from Tarkov because Unity is a great engine to make a game on but Escape from Tarkov takes the Unity engine and pushes it to like the extreme Th they do things on the Unity engine that really you know Unity's had to help them out a lot because you're not really supposed to do which is where they get the shortfall with using that engine but for a single player looter shooter stalker like game unity is going to be the perfect engine for them and they're capable of doing so many awesome things with it and it shows in this demo 
it runs smooth, it looks smooth, it's beautiful, the sound, the sights, it works for them. You know, I know a lot of people are like, they should have just done game this game on un Unreal. I think for this game, Unity is absolutely perfect for it. Um, I don't really think there's much of an issue with using Unity. It looks great already. The, ba the base foundations for this game are already perfect. There's really nothing else other than content, adding things, polish. Is basically all that's left for this game, you know? Maybe some sound and animations, but most everything is here and working perfectly. Now, he has mentioned that co-op might be in the future. Now, this game, you know, is still a ways off, so I'm going to assume that co-op's going to be a ways off, too. Not a huge, huge um, priority right now. But with the lack of single-player games and the lack of focus on single-player games lately, I'm very excited for this. Like, we know that we're getting our Stalker 2 fixed soon, but that doesn't stop other games from kind of building on the genre and, and attempting to. Uh, look at the success of Tarkov. Tarkov was, you know, stated as Stalker-inspired. And you do see it in there. And look at the success they've had with it. Um, you know, I'm not saying Tarkov's not a massive game. It, it is a massive game. And Road to Vostok could become an absolutely massive game, too. Uh, Stalker is just one of those god-tier games that just was so perfect that even if you mimic an ounce of its success, you know, and what it did right, your game is going to do absolutely amazing too. And that's a reason why stock, you know, so many games use stalker kind of stalker inspired stuff because stalker was that fucking good of a game. And I think road to Vostok is going to absolutely kill it. I mean, it, it's just, there's so much already here that you can see it just getting better off the bat. I mean, there's really not much I could be like, well, that that's kind of stupid. Maybe they shouldn't do that. There's just a lot going on with this that, you know, I think in the future this game is going to be absolutely amazing. I really like the, you know, the idea of, of a single person taking on some a project of this type, though. Like, it's, there's not, he knows exactly what he wants to do with this game. It's not going to get lost in the hype and bite. You see a lot of small indie teams come out and they bungle games super bad. But this guy knows exactly what he wants to do with this game. He's got a vision. He's going to execute it that way because there's not going to be outside forces or other people... You know, we should do this, the, you know, infighting and the crap you get with that. It's going to be built. The game is going to be the game he wanted to build. And that's what makes me most excited for it. Like, this man's got a vision. He knows what he wants to do. He's delivered an awesome public beta that shows off a lot of, you know, the first steps of this game that are already great. And I, I can already imagine what we're going to get next. That I feel like when this releases, man, it's going to be, it's going to be huge. Especially for people who like stalker and tarkov which is most almost everybody that i know um you know it, i think it's just gonna be great but if you like this and you want to try it out yourself the public beta is pretty small um there's not much to do but you can go in and try it and see kind of how it feels and things like that on steam road to vostok that's all you got to do and you'll find it on there but tell me what you guys think you think road to vostok is going to be absolutely amazing you like the stalker feel that you get out of this game and like what you see let me know in the comments below talk to you guys later peace